Hey, 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 everybody. I'm back. Pastor's here. Hey, guys. So, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. I know, I know, I know. Y'all thought I fell off, thought I was gone, forgot about you. I didn't, I didn't, I promise. I have been super busy. It is, um... Valentine season, so Pastor has been um, busy, busy, a busy, busy bee. So that's where I have been. Um, it's good to see you all. Uh, hey, 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 hey. So um, let's see. We'll wait for a couple of people to get here. Um, like I said, I have been busy. I have been all over the place, all over the place. Um, so I'm getting ready for the conference that's coming up. So I have um, had some training and things that I've been doing. So um, yeah, 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 yeah. So pastor's been busy, but good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. It's the middle of the day. Um, I don't know how many of us will be here because there are several ladies that are working, um, but uh, let's start. So, Pastor got to put a lotion on, y'all. It's a lash. So anyway, um, yes, yeah, so this, today I want to talk about being raised by Barbara the Builder. I know a lot of us uh, came from backgrounds where our mothers were pick me's or uh, Bob the Builder chicks, as Shira71 calls them. But uh, I said on my channel, I would um, call them Barbara the Builder on my channel. So um, I know a lot of us were raised by women who were, you know, taking one for the team and, um, you know, helping our fathers or the men in their lives to build an empire, we'll say. I know a lot of us were raised that way, um, and I certainly was. Um, my mother didn't necessarily have to work, but she did uh, because she didn't want to depend on anybody and didn't want to be, uh, you know, have to wait for him to say this and say that and you know so she was very um all about the women's movement and being equal to men and things like that so um and then of course she raised me and I'm the same way you know i can do everything a man can do and i'm gonna help him because together we can get more um and basically barbara the builder chicks are ladies who are um, helping men with their careers, helping them further themselves in life, helping them to be successful. These are Barbara the Builder Chicks. Barbara the Builder Chicks are ladies who have, um, who are like, what am I trying to say? You know what I mean. Women who, you know, oh, you're my king, I'm your queen, we're going to do this together type of thing. Um, ladies who are, you know, I don't want to depend on him because I don't know this isn't a sure thing type of women. Women who pay half the bills. Women who, um, you know, want everything to be equal. These are Barbara the Builder Chicks. And uh, most women in the United States are this way. Um, to say that you're not, to say that I'm not going to go to work, to say that I'm not going to contribute to my household monetarily is like, oh, you know, it's like you've committed this cardinal sin, you know. Um, and it's sad because a lot of different cultures don't ascribe to this. But I know specifically in the African-American community, this is definitely um, the truth. We are expected to help our men. We're expected to um, make sure that we're doing our part. We're expected to, um, to always be helping him be better. 
he needs a helpmate. He needs someone who's going to be there for him. And blah, blah, blah. That, in the black community, it, it's very um, rampant in the black community. But um, what I will say to that is that, um, hold on, let me put that on live. What I will say to that is it doesn't have to be that way. You know, um, yes, you're probably going to be shamed and looked at like you're crazy and, oh my God, I can't believe she's not helping him. And, you know, they would be so much further if she would just do something. But being a stay-at-home wife, being a stay-at-home mom is sometimes much more demanding than being a... Um, a working mom. Um, and I won't say it's much more demanding, but um, it is equally so. I will say that. They are, they are demanding in different ways. So um, I think it, it's uh, beneficial for us to look at why this is the case. It's beneficial for us to look at why, um, why it's not okay for women to stay at home. Who's going to be at home? Is nobody supposed to be there? You know, is that just supposed to be a place that's empty and not taken care of and not looked after? What does that mean for us? If there's no woman in the home, what does that mean for our families? What does that mean for our communities? What does that mean for our society? If there's no one in the homes nurturing and taking care of that space that's left empty. If we're both working, then how, who's, who's taking care of the nurture part of the relationship or the family? Who's taking care of that part? I know for, um, like in my specific life, it was my grandmother. She was the one who kind of was the glue for my family. A lot of people are that way. But my grandmother was definitely, she wasn't even a Barbara the Builder. She was a Bob the Builder. She did it by herself, you know. Um, I think it says something. It says something about a woman who doesn't want to be in that role. It says something about a woman who doesn't um, understand her place in that role. What does that mean for her? What does that mean for her children? A lot of times women don't consider the fact that um, there will be some things that are missed, that your children will miss out on because you are helping to build. Mm. Y'all like my little Starbucks cup? It's almost Valentine's Day. But anyway, so, um, yes, just because you were raised by Barbara the Builder doesn't necessarily mean um, that you have to continue that way. Just because your mom was Barbara the Builder, just because your grandmother was that way, doesn't mean that you have to be that way. You probably will most likely get pushback from people in your environment from people who are used to you being a worker but um does that mean you stop aspiring to that does that mean you stop craving that or wanting that i don't know you know but um i think it's worth talking about what does it mean when for you when you were raised by Barbara the Builder? How did that manifest itself in your life? What did it look like, you know? Um, and for me, it was um, trying fiercely not to be masculine, trying fiercely to have my own identity as a woman, figuring out by myself what being a woman um, is because my mother did not teach me those things. Um, and it was kind of hard, you know, it was kind of hard because, um, my mother was not a nurturing mother at all. And I think a lot of us, um, grew up that way, you know? Um, and so I don't know. I think it's just worth talking about. It's worth thinking about how were you raised? Were you raised by Barbara the Builder? Were you raised by Pigmisha, Bonetta? You know, how were you raised? Let's talk about it. Um, it wears you out working like a man and missing out on your child's life. I don't care what they say. I'm glad I could be home with my children during the most. Yeah. And, and that's true. You know, um, it does. It wears you down a lot faster than it does a man because they are built for that, you know? Um, and I just think that it's 
you have to unlearn. So like somebody said, you have to unlearn so many masculine habits that it's hard as an adult woman to kind of navigate your femininity. Some women don't even understand why they're masculine. And it's because a lot of times you were raised by Barbara the Builder. So, y'all want to see my shirt? Ew! Hey, girls! Hey, Molly and Mindy! Whoa, well, that was too much for TV! Oh, man, I didn't know we was doing all that. That's my shirt, guys, with the little... I have some little leggings on and some little flats today. I was being... You know, I was being a little girly and frilly today, so... Um, let's see, a lot of children... Yay, y'all like it? Thanks, thanks. Yay. Yes, and then, like Lady J said, you do have a lot of women who don't necessarily work, but around the house, they're worker bees. They do everything for everybody. They, um, you know, they're always available. They make sure they are cooking and cleaning, and, you know, that's, that's also Barbara the Builder. You can be a feminine woman and still be Barbara the Builder. Um... And that's hard. That is hard because people will get to be dependent on you and you won't have any time for yourself. So a lot of moms are still Barbara the Builders. Um, what are some specific masculine traits to unlearn? Very good question, Miss DW. Um, I would say that some masculine... Here, let me fix my angles. Some masculine traits that are worth unlearning is going to work every day, fighting to be at the top, um, trying to be the, the, the best and the greatest and the one in the forefront, always um, wanting to be in control of things, always having control of things. Those are uh, very masculine things. Um, somebody says always having the last word. Arguing, arguing period, is a very masculine trait. That's one of mine. I will argue somebody down, you know, but that's a very masculine trait. Um, mothering people like, well, that's not, that's not a masculine trait, but you can be so feminine that you emasculate the men in your life. So emasculating a man is just as bad as, uh, being as being masculine I would say um so yeah I think that I think that it is um it's hard for a lot of women to find the balance and I think that's important you know you want to be if I had to choose between being Barbara the Builder and being super hyper feminine I would always be hyper feminine Always, always, always. I would never uh, want to be Barbara the Builder. Now, am I financially dependent on a man? No, I am not. Even though I am not a working woman, I still am not financially dependent on a man. I use their money to be independent of them. That's how you do it. So somebody ask, you guys are asking questions, sorry. Um, so how do you stick for yourself without coming off masculine? You shouldn't have to stick up for yourself, Miss Whitney. Why are you putting yourself in positions where you need to stick up for yourself? If you're putting yourself in a position that you need to stick up for yourself, then you're being masculine, most likely. Um, Mickey, do you wear sneakers to the gym? I wear sneakers to the gym only. If you ever see me in sneakers outside of the... I don't even wear sneakers to uh, my boys' like, game, football games and stuff. I just don't. I don't wear ball caps. I don't wear any of that stuff. I'm always them. I, I, I don't, I wouldn't dress like this. Don't get me wrong, but I always wear frilly stuff to their games and stuff. And they know at this point, like, you know, mama's not going to wear sneakers. Um, and if I did, 
They're going to be pink for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. Why being in the forefront is masculine? Is there... Why is being in the forefront masculine? Because um, if you're in the forefront, that means you're doing the most work. That means you're saying the most. That means you are entertaining. And all of those things are what men do and not women. So somebody says, oh, please. So you mean if someone is messing with you, you just let them do it and not stick up for yourself? Um, well, I never said that. But why would someone be messing with you? Why would someone, I think about it. Think about what you said, Miss Lavender Faye. If someone is messing with you, wh what does that mean? First of all, as an adult woman, how does somebody mess with you? And why are they messing with you? As an adult woman, that almost never happens to me. Just saying it. Who, what, what circle are you in? Where are you going? What, I mean, anyway, but you always say, what's the point of having a man make you a better man? I do. I do say that. There is no point in having a man make you a better man. Absolutely the case. And I didn't not say that now. I said not to be financially dependent on him. That doesn't mean you have to go out and get a job or start a business. I still say that. You should not use a man to help you be a better man. How do you deal with envy from other women? I don't. If other women are envious of me, I don't even know. I, I don't entertain it. <laughs> um, there you go. That's very sad, Candace. What's sad about Candace? What happened to Candace? Let's see, shall we? I look so pretty, thank you. I can't find what happened to Candace, sorry. Sorry guys. So, um, yeah, hello, I'm married and you started as a pick me who works. Any tips for quitting my job but keeping my lifestyle? I did give tips on that, I did a video entitled woman your job is to be lazy so in that i said that you should fake an injury if you don't want to work anymore pretend like you're hurt there you go there you go um that's what i did or that's what i would do i mean i don't see why you should i mean there's a lots of ways to quit working you just stop going and see what happens you know um just kidding Kidding, kidding. I'm trying to see what happened to Candace. Everybody's so sad for Candace. What's going on? Oh, her mom works 60 hours a week and drives Uber. What? Her mom drives, works 60 hours a week and drives Uber. Girl, well, I, okay, Candace. Hey, my eyes are hypnotizing. Ooh. So that's it y'all really I just wanted to um, come on here and talk about that just because um, you were raised by Barbara the Builder doesn't necessarily mean you have to be Barbara the Builder mean girls who mess with me I mean I ignore them but they just come at me harder you got to be young you are young the fact that you said mean girls what what are we in fifth grade I mean girl Keep living. Keep living, Lavender. It'll get better. That's all I can tell you. I don't have mean girls being mean to me. Just saying. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day, Mickey? Well, I have several things to do for Valentine's Day. Lots. I have a whole lot to do tomorrow. Mm-hmm. She said, well, that's what they are mean. 
So is that women shouldn't work or they shouldn't run themselves in the ground working 60 plus hours? Women should not work. It is not your job to work. It is not your job to work, period. It's not. Um, if you are working, it's because you prescribe to feminism that you should be equal to a man. It is a man's job to provide. If you are working, it's because you're providing for yourself. That is not your role. Your role is to be a woman and to be provided for and to be protected by a man. Just my thoughts. Just my thoughts. I don't know. Just saying. Um, do you I believe in the law of attraction? Slightly. <laughs> Just slightly. How to get gifts from a man. Oh, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to you guys, too. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I've already started receiving gifts, and whoa, I'm excited. Tomorrow's probably going to be a bigger day for me, so yes, good stuff. Is stripping considered masculine work? Um, well, there are men that strip, and I think most of them are gay. So I think stripping is a feminine job, but it is still working nonetheless. What if, um, what if you get to keep all your money? It's still masculine. It's still masculine. The fact that you have to get up for work, you have to go fight traffic, you have to, you know, um, do the best on your job so that you don't get fired. You have to perform. You have to do the. the all of that is masculine. The whole thing is masculine. The whole thing. Oh my goodness! Vicious Reasoning 504. Yay! Uh oh. Hold on, hold on. We got some money. We got some money. We got some money, 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 money. We got some money. We got some money. We got some money. Oh, I feel like Cardi B. Money. Manny, Manny, yay! Okay, so she says, I have been staying off of social me media, still working on myself, and so far I have been able to quit my job. K. Machine! That's K. Machine! You quit your... Oh, I'm sorry, my co-host said, shh, mommy. So I was told to stop screaming. Sorry, but that is great, K. Mache. I'm so excited for you. Yay, that is great. See, see what I mean? There's a formula. That's all I'm saying. There's a formula. Girl, I can't believe my baby said, stop screaming. Do I consider what you do with real estate a form of work? That's why I'm confused. Yes, yes, it is. What I do in real estate is work. But let me tell you something. My business was founded um, by a man. My business is run by men. And I am the boss. I cut the check, I give the demands, and I tell them what to do. That's what I do. Do I physically do any of the work? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, I use my femininity since I work with almost only men to get ahead. The fact that I'm feminine and I'm very feminine is the reason why I am very successful in real estate. Because very masculine men, when paired with a very feminine woman, the very feminine woman, the very feminine energy will win every time. That's why I'm successful. So yes, it is a form of working. And I did start working because um, I wanted a better lifestyle than the one I had. So I started working. And I've always worked, but I started working for myself. And I created a job where I would be able to be um, way financially ahead of the person that I was tied to in a marriage. So there you go. There you go. Yes, it is a form of working. But the way that my company is run now is very feminine. In the beginning, it was not. Of course it wasn't. But now it is. Will I be live tomorrow? Hell no. 
No. Miss Ma'am will be getting to the bag. Miss Ma'am will be getting to the bag. Y'all will not see me. You see, you haven't saw me in how long? <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yes. How can I help you, sir? Huh? Can I do what? Just a minute. Um, so yeah. Uh oh, somebody asked a question. Society is hypocrite because first it asks you to take on all masculine roles and then complain why women are not women these days. Exactly. Um, what's the formula? Uh, go back from the beginning, baby. We've been on a journey on this channel. Um, I've given the formula several times over, though. There you go. There you go. So, that's it. Um, I look good. You gotta look good in freestyle. Oh, um, that's the video, basically. Just because you were raised by Barbara the Builder doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be her. You can make choices for your own life. If you have to work now, then you need to be creating a plan so that you don't have to um, continue working. You should not, there needs to be something in place where you are creating the life that you want. Um, you should not have to uh, work unless it's what you want to do, period. I don't care who you are. Um, oh, thank you, Miss Paris. She says, thank you for all you do. Thank you for your donation. Thank you. I appreciate that. So Miss Mom, Mom Life with Telly says, my husband put me and my kids out. My husband put me and my kids out and got a new girlfriend the same day. Now I'm home living with my parents. Does that label me a dusty according to my change in circumstances? Well, Miss Mom Life with Telly, uh, he didn't get a new girlfriend the next day. <laughs> know that. She been the girlfriend, baby. You just now found out about it the next day. <laughs> Lord help. Uh, he been had a girlfriend, though, for sure. Aw, uh, you're welcome, Miss Laura. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for my Valentine's. That's so sweet. Thank you. But, um, girl, that's, that's sad. That's sad. Because, um, well, first of all, first of all, what state are you in? How was he able to put you out? Is the house inflamed at this point? Have you taken a match and lit that shit on fire? Um, how is it possible for your husband to be able to put you out and he's your husband? That's illegal. Um, you can call the police and say, hey, he won't let me in. This is my house. Even if your name isn't on it. If you're married to him, he can't put you out. And he certainly can't put your children out. You need to get some chichis. Get you some titties. And walk back up in there. You need to walk back up in there. That's your house. How, what? He's your ex-husband now. Oh, well, it's a moot point at this point. It's a, um, it is a, that's an, it's over with now if he's your ex-husband. Girl, I thought you meant he, it, this just happened. If this happened a long time ago and you're still living with your parents, does that make you a dusty? Um, I'm not going to answer that. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. You have children, uh, you need to get it together though, girl. You need to get it together. Um, but there you go. There's an example of how men are. They are very self-serving. And women always want to um, include them and consider their feelings. But as you can see, men won't do it for you. You know? So, that's sad. Um... Yeah, Diary of a Mad Black Woman. That's crazy. Girl, um...
treat them mean, keep them keen. That's real sad. See, somebody in here said somebody's a guy, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, whatever. And he said that's how a lot of men think. So, you know, um, that's sad. I hope you get that worked out, though, you know. Um, but, yeah, that's it. I have a consultation in about four minutes. So, if y'all have questions, shoot them at me because I'm about to go. Mama's got to wash these. Mom life. Mama has to wash these before you eat them, okay? I'm going to wash them in just a minute. Close the refrigerator. Push it. You can't close the door back? Yay. Um... Yeah, that's, this is exactly why you can't be nice. This is why I've done the Nice Girl series. This is why um, I talk about that on, on my channel, about being selfish, because men are very selfish, and they don't apologize for it. But women just can't seem to, to get it, you know? Um, it's sad, but there you have it. Prime example. Should a woman pay any bills if she's in a relationship with a man? No, no, nothing. Should not pay for anything. Miss Janessa, for the second time, I will not be live tomorrow. Tomorrow's Valentine's Day. It's my day. I will be getting celebrated and wined and dined all day. So no ma'am, y'all will not see me. This is my day to shine. So no ma'am. So that's the video. Um, how do you get in the Level Up group? You send me a message on Facebook and I would be happy to help you with that. It is a paid group and it is not free. If you don't have money to pay for it today, do not contact me. There you go. So, um, when, you, when you first start dating someone, should you hide the fact that you're dating other people too? You should hide everything when you first start dating someone. Always hide everything. So, that's the video. I got to go wash baby's grapes and get ready for my consultation. But I'm Michaela Pink. And that's what I think. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday for Valentine's Day. If you are not being celebrated, go celebrate yourself. Have fun. Enjoy your day. Be in love with yourself. Take a bubble bath and... Get you some new batteries tonight so you can have some fun alone. But do whatever it is you do to make you feel strong and powerful and loved on tomorrow. Um, so, that's the video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.